Here we go. So straight into it. Loving it. Everything's pretty much Love the slightly new remix to the music. And the fact that the flying battery zone is still trying to screw you over. Modern twist. I remember when I first um, went to buy Sonic Knuckles on its release, um, I went down to Paul Market, which was our local at the time, wasn't yeah. it? And this was being demoed, um, this level, in one of the cabinets. Uh -huh. I'd never seen the game before. And I just remember being hypnotized by the whole idea of him moving left to right on those grappling hooks. Yeah. I mean, it seems so simple now, but. It was a. Uh, Back in the day, that just looked amazing to me. Yeah, it was a completely new thing. I was wondering whether you'd have it. I wonder if you can push. The, yeah, to the side of the set. Um, I was wondering whether you'd have maybe a crashed version of Wing Fortress. Uh, a flying battery zone to explore rather than a flying version. Um, I don't know if you ever read some of the Sonic books that came out. There's one called Sonic and the Silicon Warriors, um, which quite early on has Sonic exploring a crashed version of the Wing Fortress Zone from Sonic 2. Okay. Um, that was nice, uh, quite a nice little thing as far as I remember it. So yeah. I was, wasn't sure if this would be a crashed version or whether it would be uh, fresh. Is it worth can't going left? Was, yeah, I was just thinking that. I can't say I was too familiar with any of the books like that. But I had a few of them, but Sonic and the Silicon Warriors was my favourite. Sonic ends up being um, digitised inside a PC at one point. Along with Tails. Yeah. This is maybe down odd. here again. I guess so, yeah. Maybe we'll go back on ourselves. Can you go down with that one? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's where we need to go. Okay, so... Oh, crap bollocks. There is a lot more of this level trying to screw you over than there was in the original, I'm sure. Okay, so this time we'll go right. Yep. Ah, ah we're outside again. Oh, there's clouds! Yeah, the clouds are a nice addition there. It's such a subtle addition, but it's it's awesome. They're just the clouds in front of the platforms. So, one thing I hate and always have done is this part of the game, uh, this part of the level. Yeah, especially having a fire shield uh, whilst outside. Oh god, yeah. One and careless push will send you send you careening through the sky, flying to the, your doom. But also these um, the spinny tubes outside are a real pain. There is one of those in Act Two, quite far down the level. If you go the wrong way, and it, yeah, it's scary as hell. <laughs> you might come out just below where you need to. Set that, that's it. So they're giving us a bit of flying battery by way of winged fortress there. Yeah. Now we're back to familiar territory. This is back to Act 1 style. Yeah. Even down to the capsules below the, the um, tunnels. Just, as I say, just gives you that extra bit of confidence playing the level. Another lightning shield, perfect. Which is handy considering we're going to be messing about with electricity for the most things. I'm just going to say I wonder if that shuts off or not. Hey, it's an actual ring one. It's the good kind of capsule. Nice. That was really nicely done. And here we are back outside. Which means propellers, yeah. This is back to Act 1 again. It's amazing how they've worked sections from both levels into each one. Yeah, it's just so beautifully done, really. Yeah. Nice. I didn't know until recently on Act 1 of Flying Battery Zone that you could do that, that you could go back to the left to get up high. Ah. This time Stitch round, the game says, screw then, you it? over. Adding a little think, bit of extra challenge to proceedings. Yeah, I think there was an extra life up there in, in the original. Yeah, and now there's nothing but pain. <laughs> pain and misery. <laughs> I think maybe close to the boss. I thought it was going to be yeah, a camera change Yeah, it is quite there. close to the boss, I think. Love that slap bass going on. <laughs> it's an, again, it's a nice little remix. You've got to go back left now, yeah. I guess. 
getting close to the boss now. I'm guessing it won't be the same boss as before. Uh, that was a one of those captions yeah. that had a spike tiara, spiky arms, wasn't it? That's right. Are you going to say a spike tiara then? No, oh. no, I just can't get my words out. I have a speech problem. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I just can't speak very well sometimes. So, I think this way. There's one of those blue rings there, but I'm not sure if we can get to it. So, am I right in thinking if you have a lightning shield here, um, it gives I don't know magnetic qualities and sticks you to the roof? I think it might do. You know, I got that impression. Ah, don't worry. I got this. Damn bumpers. Hell, I thought we would be quite close to the edge of the, end of the level, but I'm not sure we are yet. The say the original coming flying down? battery, you could push certain spikes. Yes, you could. The ones that were singly by themselves. Oh, yeah, yeah so there's one of the little additions you were saying about. about That that spike that you're standing on there, that was one that you could push, I think. You should try. You can give it a go. Yeah, I'll give it a go. There's a... Oh, let me know. Wait for it to come down. So you can see to the left of it, or see underneath it, there's a little tube. Yeah. That so usually denoted that you could get in there. Ah, oh, and it's a ring. Special stage. Let's give it a go. We're going to chase that UFO. Catch it! If you remember the old um, Wacky Racer spin-off with Dick Dastardly and Motley, <laughs> who catch the pigeon. A bit. It's sort of reminiscent of that. So. Big increase. And new, new hazards. Or? Yeah, it, was, it sort of gave you half of what you needed to level up. Ah, oh, oh. okay, so... Is that a game over? Yep. That's a game over. You can now fall through holes. You better believe that's a game over. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bad look. That's uh, obviously a new addition, because the, the first one was fairly easy. They're going to ramp up in difficulty. You had spikes, it wouldn't surprise me if you get mines in one of them. <laughs> That's a nice little logical extreme. I think you'd be alright, I don't think you'll actually hit the spikes. Uh, but you might have to jump to the right and set and get up. Wow, this is a pain. This one's going to be difficult to climb. So I think we're at the boss now. I was going to say, I think we must be nearly that. This has got to be it, surely. Ah, it's this old Leaf chestnut. So oh, wow! Back at it. I love all the Scrap trashed robotics yard. underneath. Uh, trashed badniks underneath. The signposts. Together. I wonder if you've got to use that to jump up, up and yep, yeah, that's there it. We go. Which Let's means see. you've got limited time to kill him again. Yeah. Nice. I wonder if it's enough now. We'll soon find out. You're only three rings short of a, an extra life. Three rings short of a picnic. Yep. Picnic. So obviously it's harder as they get closer. You have less room to. But at the same time, the level is further up. So you, um, because of the rising tide of robotics, yeah, uh, badniks there, you can jump up more easily to hit him anyway. So that's quite nice. I probably wouldn't have needed to bounce off the badniks in the end. Possibly not, but it worked out pretty well. Again, a nice addition to what came before. Ooh. I would never have thought there'd be a trash compactor under there. Yeah, nice throwback. I mean, if Robotnik was so. anything, any semblance of smart, by the way, taking over Act 2 now, any semblance of smart, he just would have kept the trash compactor going and just done away with Sonic. But instead he let him out of the bomb. Silly. So it's interesting to note about the storyline being about Robotnik being depressed and not bothering. Yeah, I... It seems to seem to contradict that slightly. Yeah, it seems to have kind of panned out, or well, not panned out, rather very quickly, which is rather it appears odd. that two forces are working together. Well, not even working together, um, both working against each other, but also in aim of a common goal. Yeah. What do you want to bet that they're going to go down the old route of some of the newer Sonic games where? your antagonist or the bad guy actually turns out to be something else, like something of Robotnik's creations that then becomes more powerful than Robotnik and it need, and you need to help Robotnik stop it. A bit like some of the Sonic Advance games and I think 
Sonic Unleashed may have done that as well. Mm. Possibly. Oh, shit. No, the storyline isn't Sonic revealing Sonic. much, is it? No. This stage. Definitely just cutscenes. Well, occasional cutscenes at this point in time. But all you know is that they seem to be working together with each other. Nice weather effects. Oh, Some weather we're gorgeous, having. Gorgeous, huh? isn't it? Just look at that. And yeah, it makes it a little more difficult to transfer around as well. And again, just certain aesthetics give it a bit of a winged fortress quality as well. It's like, yeah, it's like a love letter to Sonic 3 and to the old style Sonic games, but at the same time, refreshing yeah. enough that it's it does feel new. And another extra. Oh. Oh, just thinking of myself. That's probably a bottomless pit. Fortunately, not. Extra life there. Yep, if we can get to it, that's it. Always good to see another extra life. Oh, back indoors back again. Indoors. Now. I didn't expect that. Use my uh, crouched form. It's a much better way of getting around. Much safer way of getting around, anyway. Interesting to see how much scope these levels had potential to have. Obviously, yeah, was... back when they were released, couldn't be done. Yeah, for whatever reason. For well, probably size constraints more than anything else. With this, it's not exactly difficult to put something together or put a, a larger game together. As a kid, the whole idea of just the way the environment changes in a split second, I'd have been all over it. Even, well, not only weather effects, but just this sort of seamless in and out of the zone as well. So going from inside to outside so easily and so quickly. I'm hoping that a lightning shield won't mean I'll attract lightning. I mean, it shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> That's a good point, actually. If anything, it should charge me, but... I hadn't considered that. Mm. And back inside again. I love that that lightning shield. Oh, cool. So you have a go at the special stage. I love the lightning shield, meaning that you get caught up in the level sometimes. Oh, I just missed those rings entirely. Uh, this may oh, be. Hate to my chest. Oh no, I'm right. I got another few seconds. Well, don't make my mistake now. <laughs> don't say that. I'm going to make a mistake now. <laughs> I didn't make a mistake, but I also didn't get anything useful. Need to be gentle on the D-pad. Finesse is the key here. Exactly. Excellent, so we've got another few seconds in the zone. I haven't actually seen the UFO out there, it's just in the distance. So I'm guessing as long as you have enough rings, it doesn't matter how far ahead it is, you're still... Uh, keep playing. Yeah, you can. So long as you've got rings, you can continue in the zone. So it's it's just about making sure you get enough spheres to level up. But obviously, yeah. it gets faster as well, so it makes it more difficult to stay on the level, as it were. I'm not sure if it's a one hit and you're out. It's probably not. You probably just lose rings. rings. Yeah. Yep. Well, we found that out pretty quickly. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm going to catch it in time. I'll try and get that shortcut next time around. So I can't even see it now. No, I've lost it entirely. In more ways than one. There it is, it's, it's quite far away there. So I'm going to try for the shortcut. I Hope believe those fish on the wall, I know those fish are looking at the background for a second here, but there's some fish on the walls. Uh huh. That I believe might be a reference to the fish from the very first special stage of Sonic 1. You might be right. I missed the shortcut again. I don't think I'm going to catch this. The fact that I barely see it doesn't help. It's there, but... I, I think it's in the middle for some reason. Yeah. Oh, there it is. I missed the rings again. Okay. Might need some rings in a second. Though. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. No rings left. Oh, Shame. I wasn't bad. far. I'm sure I wasn't far off it, but never mind. Uh, still on 
deeply sad 1k of emerald for us. I'm willing to bet you won't see Supersonic in this run through. Yeah, I mean, we're what, four zones in? I don't think we're going to see it. But anyway, we're back to Flying Battery Zone. Back to two. Extra life, at least. Blue rings as well. Yep. Not sure how close to the edge of the stage we are. I, love that. I just can't quite get over that in and out thing. It's quite nice. It's simple and yet so cool. As is the weather, again, it's just such a simple addition, but it just adds so much to taking you into what's happening. It does indeed. Crap. And makes the platform a little bit trickier. Yes. Okay, screw it. I'm going to go underneath. If you don't see that, it's going to drop. Knowing my luck, it would have dropped as soon as I walked <laughs> underneath there. I was thinking that as well. It's good at that. And the clucker style thing's taking you back to Wing Fortress Zone. I'm wondering if some of this actually is Wing Fortress Zone. It wouldn't surprise me, that top level running around kind of bit. Oh, okay, that was confusing. This way. Maybe back outside again. So, more rubbish lying around. Just to mean we're getting close to something. Bad mix. Gotta be there now. Oh, huh. I love the idea that all these destroyed bad mix are being kept somewhere yeah. as well. Maybe Robotics <laughs> one for recycling. Who knows? Certainly re recycles enough of his enemies between games. Oh. Okay. Higher there, no, let's go straight. And up and right, I guess. Ah, oh, good, those, I can actually reflect those with the lightning shield, that's worth bearing in mind. Ah, uh, screwed that up. It's fine. It's okay, it's still good. 200 odd rings we've got at this level. I'm certainly not shy of giving you rings in this game. I say you probably need them. Probably. Let's see if we can get underneath that one. Oh man. Ring Fortress is bigger and better, that's for sure. This thing cannot be <laughs> practical for flying. <laughs> <laughs> Just finding your way around in the morning has got to be a real pain in the ass. No aerodynamism whatsoever, is there? Imagine if you're working in a particular area and you need to get to the <laughs> toilet. Do you know how long it would take you to get there? Ah, you just hold it, wouldn't you? You'd have to. Okay, here we go. Boss time. And it's another locked off fortress. Oh, okay. oh hello. So we had Spider. a hint that this was going to happen by the blueprints in the first act. Yep. I wonder if I can actually reflect that because of... Ah, I've got to knock him into the spikes, haven't I? Which it I'm not doing so. on this side. I can only imagine how much harder this would be. Ah, that's why. Interestingly enough, he doesn't seem to be able to harm me with the spy. Oh, with the. That makes life a bit easier, doesn't it? Oh dear. Now he can. This is going to be difficult. What happens if he hit his underbelly? Oh, fuck. Screwed that up entirely. can't get past it. Or you can, but you have to... Okay, so you can just kind of run past it. That's worth going for. Yeah. I haven't even done him any hits so far. It's okay. Plenty of time to go. Okay, I want to be on this side. I say plenty of time. Sometime. Ah, shit. That was awful. I did well, awfully at that. <laughs> we know what not to do now, so that's... <laughs> True. Plus. Oh, I really could have done three rings special. Shield. It's okay. I think hitting him directly underneath does the best, doesn't it? I'm not sure. In terms of I thought it would be side on, but it doesn't appear to be. There we go. Hey, that's the ticket. We've got the style of it now. It was the style at the time. So, run the side now. It. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. This is a cool new boss, though. 
I'm liking the mechanics. I'm liking that there's no way to sort of hit him with a certain amount of trial and error to figure these things out. Isn't this there? is very true. Ah. So, okay, I've got a ring. Two rings. Ah. Uh, that was me being greedy. Again, if you've ever seen my Dark Souls videos, never get greedy. <laughs> it's never going to end well. Should have just held left there. I wonder if you can knock him in if you hit him enough there. Again, more greedy. Do you know, if there's one thing I... If I could have made a... Huh. He's blocking. A bit of a wish list for things I would have liked to have seen included, and yep. this isn't a complaint because obviously it's a fantastic game. Yeah. Um, but certain levels from older Sonic games. Yeah. Would have been nice to have maybe had the bosses have remixes of their respective themes. Yeah, rather than just sort of a, a one-off boss theme. Which is obviously a trifling complaint because it doesn't really matter. But it's a nice idea yeah. though. There we go. We beat him this time around. And Robotnik's off in a jetpack. At least there's no sort of um, moving stage level crushing thing that they had at the end of Flying well, Battery Act Zone this time around. <laughs> I was never very good at those back in the day. So that was Flying Battery. That was Flying Battery Act 2 and Act, well, and Act 1. And we're going to pick up next. Where are we going? The Clucker style thing's taking you back to Wing Fortress Zone. I'm wondering if some of this actually is Wing Fortress Zone. It wouldn't surprise me, that top level running around kind of bit. Oh, okay, that was confusing. This way. Maybe back outside again. So, more rubbish lying around. Just to mean we're getting close to something. Old bad mix. Gotta be there now. Oh, ah, I love the idea that all these destroyed bad mix are being kept somewhere <laughs> as well. Maybe Robotics <laughs> one for recycling, who knows? Certainly re recycles enough of his enemies between games. Oh okay. Higher there, no, let's go straight. And up and right, I guess. Ah, oh, good. Those, I can actually reflect those with the lightning shield. That's worth bearing in mind. Uh, screwed that up. It's fine. It's okay. It's still good. It's 200 odd rings we've got at this level. I'm certainly not shy of giving you rings in this game. Dare say you probably need them. Probably. So we can get underneath that one. Oh man. Ring Fortress is bigger and better, that's for sure. This thing cannot be! <laughs> Practical for flying. <laughs> Just finding your way around in the morning has got to be a real pain in the ass. No aerodynamism whatsoever, is there? Imagine if you're working in a particular area and you need to get <laughs> to the toilet. Do you know how long it would take you to get there? Ah, oh, you just hold it, wouldn't you? You'd have to. Okay, here we go. Boss time. And it's another locked off fortress. Oh, okay. oh hello. So we had Spider. a hint that this was going to happen by the blueprints in the first act. Yep. I wonder if I can actually reflect that because of... Ah, I've got to knock him into the spikes, haven't I? Which yeah, I'm not doing so. on this side. I can only imagine how much harder this... Ah, that's why. Interestingly enough, he doesn't seem to be able to harm me with the spike. Oh, with that the... makes life a bit easier, doesn't it? Oh dear. Now he can. This is going to be difficult. What happens if he hit his underbelly? Oh, fuck. Screwed that up entirely. I can't get past it. Or you can, but you have to... Okay, I believe those fish on the... I know those fish are looking at the background for a second here, but there's some fish on the walls. Uh huh. That I believe might be a reference to the... Fish from the very first special stage of Sonic 1. You might be right. I missed the shortcut again. I don't think I'm going to catch this. The fact that I barely see it doesn't help. 
there, but... I, I think it's in the middle for some reason. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh, I missed the rings again. Okay. Might need some rings in a second. Though. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. No rings left. Shame, I wasn't bad. far, I'm sure I wasn't far off it, but never mind. Uh, still only sad 1k S Emerald for us. I'm willing to bet you won't see Supersonic in this run through. Yeah, I mean, we're what, four zones in? I don't think we're going to see it. But anyway, we're back to Flying Battery Zone. Back to two. Extra life at least. New rings as well. Yep. Not sure how close to the edge of the stage we are. Oh, I love that. In I, I just can't quite get over that in and out thing. It's quite nice. It's simple and yet so cool. As is the weather. Again, it's just such a simple addition, but it just adds so much to taking you into what's happening. It does indeed. Crap. And makes the platform a little bit trickier. Yes. Okay, screw it. Go underneath. Like you don't see that's going to drop. Knowing my luck, it would have dropped as soon <laughs> as I walked underneath it. I was thinking that as well. It's good at that. And the clucker style thing's taking you back to Wing Fortress Zone. I'm wondering if some of this actually is Wing Fortress Zone. It wouldn't surprise me, that top level running around kind of bit. Oh, okay. That was confusing. This way. Maybe back outside again. So, more rubbish lying around. Seems to me we're getting close to something. Oh, bad mix. Gotta be there now. Oh, ha! I love the idea that all these destroyed bad mix are being kept somewhere yeah. as well. Maybe Robotnik's <laughs> one for recycling, who knows? Certainly re recycles enough of his enemies between games. Oh -ho. Okay. Higher there, no, let's go straight. And up and right, I guess. Do you that? Yeah, nice throwback. I mean, if Robotnik was so. anything, any semblance of smart, by the way, taking over Act 2 now, any semblance of smart, he just would have kept the trash compactor going and just done away with Sonic. But instead, he let him out of the bomb. Silly. So it's interesting to note about the storyline being about Robotnik being depressed and not bothering. Yeah, I. It seems to. It seems to contradict that slightly. Yeah, it seems to have kind of panned out, or not panned out, rather, very quickly, which is. Rather, it appears odd. that two forces are. Working together? Well, not even working together, um, both working against each other, but also in aim of a common goal? Yeah. What do you want to bet that they're going to go down the old route of some of the newer Sonic games where your antagonist or the bad guy actually turns out to be something else, like something of Robotnik's creations that then becomes more powerful than Robotnik and, it need, and you need to help Robotnik stop it. A bit like some of the Sonic Advance games and I think Sonic Unleashed may have done that as well. Mm. Possibly. Shit. Um, the storyline isn't Sonic revealing Sonic. much, is it? No, this stage. definitely just cutscenes, well, occasional cutscenes at this point in time, but all you know is that they seem to be working together with each other. Nice weather effects. Oh, Some weather we're gorgeous, having, Gorgeous, huh? isn't it? Just look at that. And yeah, it makes it a little more difficult to transfer around as well. And again, just certain aesthetics give it a bit of a winged fortress quality as well. It's like, yeah, it's like a love letter to Sonic 3 and or to the old style Sonic games, but at the same time refreshing enough that it's it does feel new. And another extra oh. Aw. Just thinking of myself, that's probably a bottomless pit. Fortunately not. Extra life there? Yep, if I can get to it, that's it. Always good to see another extra life. Oh! Back indoors Back again indoors. now. I didn't expect that. Use my uh, 
crouched form, it's a much better way of getting around. Much safer way of getting around, anyway. Interesting to see how much scope these levels had potential to have. Obviously, yeah, was... back when they were released, couldn't be done. Yeah, for whatever reason. Well, probably size constraints more than anything else. With this, it's not exactly difficult to put something together, or put a, a larger game together. As a kid, the whole idea of... Just the way the environment changes in a split second, I'd have been all over it. Mm. Even, well, not only weather effects, but just this... Boss now. I'm guessing it so, won't be the same boss as before. Uh, that was a one of those capsules yeah. that had a spiked tiara, spiky arms, wasn't it? That's I right. Are you going to say a spiked tiara then? No. Oh. No, I just can't get my words out. I have a speech problem, okay? <laughs> I don't, I just can't speak very well sometimes. So, I think... This way, there's one of those blue rings there, but I'm not sure if we can get to it. So am I right in thinking if you have a lightning shield here, um, it gives... I don't know... Magnetic qualities... And sticks you to the roof. I think it might do, you know, I've got that impression. Ah, uh, don't worry, I've got this. Damn bumpers. Hell, I thought we would be quite close to the edge of the, edge of the level, but I'm not sure we are yet. The, the original you ever coming battery, down? you could push certain spikes. Yes, you could. The ones that were singly by themselves. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah so there's does. one of the little additions you were saying about. about That that spike that you're standing on there, that was one that you could push, I think. You should try. You can give it a go. There's a. Oh, let me know. Wait for it to come down. So you can see to the left of it, or oh, see underneath it, there's a little tube. Yeah. That so usually denoted that you could get in there. Ah, oh, and it's a ring. Special stage. Let's give it a go. We're going to chase that UFO. Catch it! If you remember the old um, Wacky Racer spin off with Dick Dastardly and Motley <laughs> with Catch the Pigeon. Bit, sort of reminiscent of that. So. Big increase and new hazards. Or? Yeah, it, was, it sort of gave you half of what you needed to level up. Ah, oh, uh, okay. So is that a game over? Yep. That's a game over. You can now fall through holes. You better believe that's a game over. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bad look. That's uh, obviously a new addition because the the first one was fairly easy. They're going to ramp up in difficulty. You had spikes. It wouldn't surprise me if you get mines in one of them. <laughs> That's a nice little logical extreme. I think you'd be alright, I don't think you'll actually hit the spikes. Uh, but you might have to jump to the right and sit and get up. Wow, this is a pain. This one's going to be difficult to climb. So, I think we're at the boss now. I was going to say, I think we must be nearly that. This has got to be it, surely. Ah, it's this old Lee chestnuts. So oh, wow! Back at it. I love all the trashed robotics underneath. Uh, trashed badniks underneath. The signposts. Together to pull market, which was our local at the time. Wasn't yeah. It? And this was being demoed. Um, this level in one of the cabinets. Uh -huh. I've never seen the game before. And I just remember being hypnotised by the whole idea of him moving left and right on those grappling hooks. Yeah. I mean, it seems so simple now, but it was uh, back it, in the day, that just looked amazing to me. Yeah, it was a completely new thing. I was wondering whether you'd have a... I wonder if you can push... Yeah, to the side of the set. Um, I was wondering whether you'd have maybe a crashed version of Wing Fortress... Uh, of Flying Battery Zone to explore rather than a flying version. Um, I don't know if you ever read some of the Sonic books that came out. There's one called Sonic and the Silicon Warriors, um, which quite early on has Sonic exploring a crashed version of the Wing Fortress Zone from Sonic 2. Okay. Um, that was nice, uh, quite a nice little thing as far as I remember it. So yeah. I was, wasn't sure if this would be a crashed version or whether it would be uh, fresh. I wonder, is it worth can't going left? Was, yeah, I was just thinking that. I can't say I was too familiar with any of the books like that. But I had a few of them, but Sonic and the Silicon Warriors was my favourite. Sonic ends up being... Um, digitized inside a PC at one point. 
and on the tail. So this is maybe down odd. here again. I guess so. Yeah, maybe we're going back on ourselves. Can you go down with that one? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's where we need to go. Okay, so. Oh, crap bollocks. There is a lot more of this level trying to screw you over than there was in the original, I'm sure. Okay, so this time we'll go right. Yep. Ah, ah we're outside again. Oh, there's clouds! Yeah, the clouds are a nice addition there. It's such a subtle addition, but it's, it's awesome. They're just the clouds in front of the platforms. So one thing I hate and always have done is this part of the game. Oh, this part of the level. Yeah, especially having a fire shield uh, whilst outside. Oh god, yeah. One and careless push will send you send you careening through the sky, flying to the, your doom. But also these um, the spinny tubes outside are a real pain. There is one of those in Act Two, quite far down the level. If you go the wrong way, and it, yeah, it's scary as hell. <laughs> you might come out just below where you need to. Reset that, that's it. So they're giving us a bit of flying battery by way of winged fortress there. Yeah. Now we're back to familiar territory. This is back to Act 1 style. Yeah. Even down to the capsules below the, the um, tunnels. As I say, just gives you that extra bit of confidence 